red. Here we go. Action. It's good. It's delicious. Hey, Joe. Huh? This story here, <laughs> quite interesting. Huh? Look at his hair moves. Yeah. Like. You know? Did you have a you have a tattoo of his hair on your wrist? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Side show Joe. <laughs> Side Joe Bob. Side Joe. Side Joe. He's my side Joe. We have the an entanglement. Story, an entanglement. Okay, the story here talks about how this family was handed the who they thought was their father after they were un informed that the father had passed away. It was ashes. The body was covered in a PPE suit and the face was not visible. So they did not know that they, that was actually not their father and then they found out that the father was alive in the ICU. Oh, oh shit. Due to, due to after they did the, the final rites. Hmm? Is this oh due to dying God. of COVID? That's what they had claimed. Somebody died, oh. but it wasn't their dad. Exactly. So they, they did a mix up. It's like a baby mix up. Mm -hmm. They did it. So this man here. Oh, it looks kind of similar though. This man here was handed over to this man's family, but then this man ended up being alive. Where's that guy's it? family? But if so they were this fam man's family is suing, as well as this family. They're suing the hospital because they're like, what the fuck? You played with our hearts, yeah. our emotions. In these pictures, they don't look the same, but if, if one was dead, Probably look the same. I would say maybe right here. Looks are like. are both families suing? Yeah, so they're. I mean, both families got affected. No, nah, not oh, really. Yes, because the family that buried that man, they did the whole like last rites, like the final final rites, like the funeral, yeah, yeah. Rites, all that stuff. They mourned. Yeah, them. They days. should. The but then now the actual family has to now dig that full back yeah. up. That's not that hard. He died. He's still dead. They didn't get to do the family. He's still dead. <laughs> I don't get why they're suing. They just want money out of it. Well, there is a complaint towards the the hospital, and so they're just trying to find out, like, because they're just trying to do happened. their job. They're trying. To, they're not like did this out of spite or right. So it's they, not malpractice. They, it's malpractice, isn't it? That's malpractice. They did say so, that the hospital. I don't know what malpractice is, right. is really. Now it's like bad <laughs> in practice. So bad practice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe you want to say make up a word called ill practice. True. So this hospital is running with only thirty percent. Staff. It's not their fault because they're overworked, they motherfucker, bitch. Overworked. 30% staff? Yes, because the coronavirus is happening right now. Everybody got in, sick. This takes place in India, by the way. And so, like, yeah, in, in, in India, they're being gravely affected by COVID as well. Poor choice of words, or better, cho good choice of words, actually. Gravely is very good. Yeah. Mm. I actually yeah. should have seen that coming. Yeah. That's pretty If sick. I got corona. It me so fast. That, it was good. It it was, yeah, it was good. Hey, <laughs> at least I correct myself. That was a I sick choice. Like the hospital. Don't visit me at the hospital if I got corona, okay? Nobody would. Yeah, we wouldn't. Not allowed to. Good. Sick choice words. <laughs> no, Sick. don't go. Sick. No, don't even. Don't even try it. Yeah. Can we FaceTime you? No, don't even visit me on internet. He just doesn't want, he wants to be alone. <laughs> no, I don't want you to risk getting corona through the Zoom either. So be careful. That's usually not how it works. Usually. Yeah. Usually. But the one I get is probably going to be strong. Virtual Corona. Yeah. Corona virtual. No, it's 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 kind of dangerous right now because California is supposed to be having like the most ever, and for the longest time it was like, what happened, man? Like uh, California is not being affected. And True. Like, Bam, motherfucker, out of nowhere. And all of a sudden. We had yesterday the the highest reported cases again. Well, They're saying that we're not. It even keeps there. breaking the record, like. You break my brother out. Yeah, how many more people are there? Like five. Yeah. Oh man, there's six of us here, so one of us is fucked. One out of five people got corona? No, what I heard is that they're limiting travel from Californians too, because like now New York and New Jersey yeah. and all them are like, if you come to our state, you gotta What quarantine. are you gonna do? I'm gonna be quarantined on a farm. Oh. So, it's like, yeah, I'm going out there. Are you living your sugar cane life? No, no sugar cane yet. Oh. But mushroom. Mushroom life. To be continued. <gasps> I'm going to a mushroom farm and I'm building something special for the people. To be continued. Ooh. Yeah. So like, life and what business must that? go on. That was a firework. That was a firework? It sounded like so a So I have to go and visit the mushroom farm. I have to. Yeah, you have to kind of do your own thing. If you're doing it safely, I think you're fine. Yeah. Is it easy to grow the mushrooms? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Oh yeah, I haven't I've seen all your stories. Mushroom. I got oyster mushroom, I got shiitake. I just uh, see mushrooms and I'm like, skip, skip. Can I get a bit of the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I want so, that. With this now, what's like the next steps for the, the families? Well, like I said, they're looking into exactly where did it go wrong, who's responsible, and they're gonna take actions. But they're saying that they just have not come to any conclusion yet. They're doing an internal inquiry 
as to see like how did a person that was not that family member end up getting handed over to them. So they were saying that the hospital, on that same day, there were four people that had died and that's how they were like, well, we got these other guys, right? How did we fuck up here? So yeah. One out of four is not that bad, is it? 25% is pretty, it's pretty, bad. It's pretty bad, 30, right? 30%. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. They got yeah. different hospitals. No, no, 25% of failure of identifying that person. Oh, that's what he meant. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry. You don't judge me too quickly. Oh, fuck. I, th I took it back, though. Are you proud of me? <laughs> you were gravely wrong. <laughs> I don't want to get sick in a different country. Hell no. Why? Because most of them are stupid. Ones if you're like you're in Europe or somewhere with better healthcare. Okay, maybe. Like Australia if you're afforded the, the healthcare, do they give you the healthcare though? You know I what I mean? I think if you go there, oh, I don't know. Not if you're a citizen, you still well, have to pay. I saw this video of an American that went there and then uh, he like broke his arm and they fixed him up and they even gave him money for the to buy food or take a taxi home. What? Wow. Where? Canada? Europe. Sounds like Canada. Uh, London. Oh. That's propaganda right there, dude. London? I heard they were fucking up. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I just know that my friend in a special Eastern European country told me that they had to bribe the doctors to do a good job. Oh. So then they come in and they go, hey, we got some whiskey for you and some uh, cigarettes and some extra money, you know, because you work so hard. So they drink it before the surgery? I hope not, but I think it's a common practice in this country. Kind of like bribing the flight attendants. That's what it really yeah, please is. Land. Yep. Oh, I mean, it was <laughs> Please nice. land this time. Yeah. No, the flight attendants don't fly. <laughs> <laughs> Please serve us an extra beverage. <laughs> no, it's please, uh, what is it? Upgrade us to, to business First class, class business. Uh, First I grab my flight tests all the time. I give them cash and they give me another bottle of alcohol. Yeah. That's, a, that's just a transaction, right? Oh. That's called buying. I thought it was like a secret menu thing. Because <laughs> yeah. I found it in the book, they didn't, they didn't tell me that it was a, it was a menu. Well, see, secret <laughs> menu is if you give them chocolates or something of value, then. Yeah, I gotta, oh, I gotta try that. Now? But this, from yeah, because I'm going to economy, if they have like a business class, but I don't know if they'll take the chocolate now, because they'll be like, oh, "You got yeah. Corona hands, boy." But if I put a mask Grant, around it, oh my god, I'll put a mask around the chocolate. You can hand sanitize it. <laughs> this motherfucker has a box of chocolates with a fucking face mask on it, like this. Yeah. Honestly, the considerateness of that—I con don't know if that's the right word. Considerateness. Yeah, I would take it. I'd be like, "Dang, you thought about this." Yeah. But what do Turkish flight attendants? Turkish they coffee. Want Turkish Airlines. They want Turkish coffee. Turkish Airlines is Turkish awesome. Turkish Airlines business. Okay, awesome. Hold on. Yeah. Business, I'm not getting business. Okay, but just the regular. Do they have TV on the back? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I've only you flown flew, business. You've flown Turkish Airlines business class? How Four was times. it? Wow. Yeah, how come you always chose it? Or was it just lucky? It's Turkish the international wow. hub out there. Yeah. No, it was, yeah. So, it, like, for coming back from our wedding, for example, mm. that one was. From Europe? One. And we went to Croatia, going there, coming back. That was that. And then... What kind of food do you get? Yeah, how was it? Because it's... I never think about Turkish Airlines. It's all Turkish oh, Airlines. it's fucking uh, dope. Yeah. Islamic standard. So sick. But Especially what kind of food is Especially the cooler, lounge. Cooler cooler than Singapore Airlines? Well, I've never If you get Singapore admitted to the lounge in oh, Istanbul. Wait, we did, You're talking about Istanbul, right? I wasn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's if you don't get admitted to the lounge, there's so many people there and it's just like a crazy airport. But when you get into the lounge, it's the nicest lounge I've ever been in. It's like wow. a Period. mall. It's fucking huge. Oh, yeah. Business exactly. class lounges are it's sick, it. though. I, I'm staying at the hotel Some are terrible. the airport because I have a 13-hour layover. Over there. No, they have no. They actually shuttle you to. Well, they shuttle me, whatever. Because we did that too. One time we flew. Um, so in business, they give they take you to this really nice, fancy ass hotel. It's right by the ocean or the water, and and then like the the room is so fucking nice. But then when we flew economy, they take you to a shitty ass like motel looking thing, and it's like in the middle of the city. So and sweet. I was like, oh man, there's a there's a very very strong contrast. All I know is, now. and I wonder what the difference is from business to first. Oh, I know. First class is a whole different beast. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we went to Istanbul four times, and we've only ever seen the hotel. <laughs> we've never seen the city. Same. Oh, damn. yeah. Yeah, I'm not even going to Istanbul. I'm going to Fayeth or Antalya. So you have to go to the airport, and then Take you land in Istanbul. Yeah. Istanbul, shit. And then you go to uh, Falafel. Fail? Falafel. Fail? I don't know. Why are you going File. out there? File. Teeth. You're doing your teeth? Yeah, we've talked about this. I, I haven't been here every episode you've been in. No, but you, we've talked. You were on the episode that we talked about it. I don't remember Nadine. I'm sorry. Because then you were like, why? Well, He's going to get a it. teeth and a Tell boob me. job. It's getting veneers. Uh, yeah, I'm getting veneers. Oh. Why all the way out there? 
Uh, it's cheaper, it's better, it's quicker. And they have really cool hookers out there. Do they? Just kidding, just kidding. I don't, oh. know. I don't know. Your passport's updated, right? I think updated, it's dangerous. Right? Do they? I don't know. I think oh, don't dangerous. forget to get a visa before yeah, you, I'm getting, I already got before you leave oh, I got, the, I got, I got the airport. Already. I got it already. Because they're fucking That's mean right. if you don't have it. Why? A visa? Because you need a visa before. Yeah, you go to like this ATM thing. You get oh. like a $20, $20, $40 visa or some shit. I did it online. Have Lots you guys ever had a Turkish coffee? Yeah. What is it like? We got it together. We did. But that one hookah place, Ham Tran bought it for us. It was I strong. It was I don't remember. Strong. I just remember t uh, the tea, the herb, the, the oh. mint. All I know is like all in the Morocco we had it. Follow, it was good. They do like the cool like food and cutting videos. They're all from like Turkey. Oh. Man, I wish I was going with you, dude. Me too. You wanna go? I can't believe you can go. They open up in like a few days. I'm hoping they still allow Americans. When they, did they, you book your appointment? Uh, Like a month ago. Wow. But they were like, oh, we they because they didn't even know when they're opening up, so they were like, not nah, they kept pushing it back. Cause I was supposed to have like a couple of months ago. Live your best life and clean your teeth, man. Yeah. I know. I did hear that Turkey's like another plastic surgery hub. Like, yeah, well, because in America, imagine like how like say you need a inhaler, it's a couple hundred bucks. When you go anywhere else, it's not that expensive. Or Mexico, like, man. Yeah. So then. But is it the same though? Yeah, same drug. Mm -hmm. Same yeah. exact in, drug. In Turkey, they have like so much. Like the stuff that they do is like. So nice. The doctors there, they don't ball out. They don't not driving like crazy nice cars like they do out here. Um, because here it's the same thing. A tooth out here costs like one to three thousand, mm -hmm. uh, and then it takes like over a month to get the whole procedure. So why don't they just come here? What's the cost difference of flying out over there, paying for a stay, doing all that? Still like versus for the amount of work I'm getting done, I'm gonna spend around in total maybe like ten thousand. Um, here it would be like forty thousand plus I have to wait like a month or two. What the forty thousand? Yeah. Damn. What? And That's like the have... wedding industry. It's cheaper in other places than in. Forty thousand? Yeah. Yeah. Why was it cheaper for you to get a thing in a France? Yeah, yeah, everyone thinks that our wedding was like fucking insanely extravagant. Well, because it looked expensive. beautiful. Exactly. It looked beautiful, by the way. But <laughs> it would have been way more expensive if we had a similar True. wedding here. Why? Yeah. What's the? The just charges so much yeah. for nothing. You. Yeah, that's true, it does. For everything. And we got shitty products here. Yeah. Yep. Like the buildings, everything. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. But people say our clothes are cheap, like your name brands and all that stuff. Uh, Compared to- When they're uh, like sourced out of country. Hmm? <laughs> that's why a lot of people like shopping in the States. Cause um, like if you get the same thing in Australia or Europe or whatever. Oh yeah, cause we don't got like luxury tax. So if you want to buy a Gucci shirt, it's just whatever the Gucci price is. Oh, he's there. not saying that the quality. He's saying got you. Yeah, the no, price. It's technically a uh, South Korean airport, Incheon. That's what you. Get luxury oh, items. that place is a mall. It's like one of the best places to get any luxury items, even cheaper than America by like sometimes twenty to thirty percent. And they're authentic. Authentic, yeah. The airport, yeah. so absolutely. It makes sense just to fly there to buy like a bunch of fucking Rolex. Yeah, if you're getting people, a bunch, yeah, sure. People literally yeah. were there with these gigantic black, like empty suitcases, and then they're filling them up, like throwing away all the packaging and like filling up their suitcases Whoa. With that they were buying at the airport. And, and, and cosmetics too, the cosmetic really industry. The cosmetics. In, yeah, in Korea. the airport? Oh. Yeah, like at the airport. Like I see there are women all the time that just like their whole, the more than their luggage is just makeup you because they're getting there, it for everybody. I was like, I feel like I need to buy something. I just don't know what to buy, so I didn't buy anything. In Korea? When you travel? Yeah, when I went to Korea. For yourself? Yeah, for myself. Like, what do you mean? Like, like, you know, like, like beauty products and oh. stuff. Like, so many people are taking advantage of like, That's these are the fucking That's because you're beautiful. Aw. <laughs> because you don't need it, so you walk in, you're like, I don't need Aww, it. Oh, guys. I I think you need it. Huh? You got the expensive Damn. bags though. Yeah, you missed out. Fuck.